Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to be cleaning my uh, Synology device. I have the 1815, um, and then I also have this UPC that I'm also installing. My goal is actually to get rid of this UPC because it's too big. I think it's a really high quality one, but I don't like how it's taking up space in my curio cabinet. This curio cabinet is in my kitchen and it has all my dishes at the top, but I wanted to be able to put cookbooks down here and it sounds crazy, but this is like the most central place that has electricity. Also, my router uh, port is right there. It's actually at the top. And so I'm gonna replace all of this. I'm gonna get, walk you through what I'm doing. Most normal people would actually have a media cabinet and my space isn't that big and I don't have a media cabinet to put in so I have a curio cabinet instead and this is where I store all of my uh, media devices as well as my dishes on top but thankfully they're two different compartments and as you can see here the Synology is super dusty and so it's about time I clean it. I've done a video on the Synology before and um, talked about the curio cabinet where this one doesn't have a glass on it, even though the top part does that stores all of my uh, dishes and whatnot. So what I'm gonna show you is how I fit the Synology up here as well as this new um, battery backup right here that I just bought at Best Buy. I'm pretty sure I overpaid for it, but I didn't wanna wait like two days to order it from Amazon or b &H Photo. So normally those are the two places I buy um, all of my electronics gear. So I'm gonna show you exactly what I do. I can't count the number of times that this thing has uh, basically kind of saved our butt um, when there was an electricity uh, outage at the house because um, what will happen is obviously all the electricity goes out and then Wi-Fi along with the router is completely out as well. And then my cell phone service is also tied to the Wi-Fi because we get really bad like Sprint T-Mobile service here. And so what happens is that we are basically out of luck because everything is tied to Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi is basically our lifeline. And so this has been amazing because it gives us our, the 10 or 15 minutes that we need to report the outage because normally you need cell phone service or phone service in order to report the outage, right? And so if you don't have Wi-Fi, you don't have cell service and you don't also have a landline, then you're kind of screwed. And so how this has been amazing is that it gives me a 10 to 15 minutes. This one says it gives like, I don't know, 355 minutes for Wi-Fi uh, with a notebook computer, 66 minutes, and so on. Um, I generally uh, equate it to basically like 30 minutes, 15 to 30 minutes of time where I can report all the outages and also contact important people. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out the uh, cyber power and I'm gonna use my Dyson, my handy Dyson um, vacuum. This thing has been amazing, by the way, um, to kind of clear out my Synology device. When choosing a UPS, just make sure that it fits in the space that you want it to. This thing was large and it had to be on the side and the plugs were kind of annoying to kind of um, try to maneuver around. So this is the device I actually had before and it's actually really amazing. I can't count the number of times my power went out and this had some um, battery like backup and so I was able to kind of use my computer and all that stuff for a solid like 30 minutes to report the outage and all that stuff. So this has actually been amazing. Just to save room, I'm going to install this other CyberPower one. I've kept uh, the CyberPower brand because I like them. All right, another thing to note is that if you are going to be doing this and uh, unplugging the, let your family members know because some of them are on the internet right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall all this stuff. So the Synology sits um, in this curio cabinet that I got and we basically put holes in the back so that I could put all the cords in there and then the router is actually sitting on top of this tall curio cabinet just so that um, it had a um, access point to all parts of the house. This is how dusty this thing got. See how dusty? That is crazy and this is probably some sort of fire hazard so um, this is a disclaimer that I'm just a DIYer who is just doing it how she thinks it's best. So this might not be the best, but I just wanna show you what I'm doing. I'm gonna go ahead and take this and clean that up. All right, I'm gonna to go to the actual desk and try to do this as well. I have an air like compressor, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, take that out as well. So I obviously powered everything down and then I took it to my dining room table and it's right next to it, um, as you can see, and it was super dusty. I took all of the um, hard drives out and individually um, basically clean them with uh, that Dyson vacuum. It's a handheld vacuum. And uh, basically cleaned out and wiped down all of the drives and put them like in order so that I remembered which bay that they go in. All right, so these are all of the hard drives that I have. Um, this is a Toshiba. So these are all Toshibas all the way up to here. This is a HGST and those are HPs. I'll go ahead and link down below so you guys know which ones I am using. The air compressor wasn't as great as using the actual vacuum itself, um, but I tried to clean off the fan and the fan was just really hard to clean off and so I had to manually like use a towel and wipe those down. So here it is. Um, this is the Synology now cleaned up and I'm basically putting um, the actual hard drives 
into the Synology in order. The great thing about the Synology is that they have these little locks that you can basically lock the hard drive in because I know that with my four kids running around and without having glass and that pain, they'll use their little fingers to kind of pop open one of those drives, I'm sure. I am now unpackaging the CyberPower Slimline uh, UPS that I just bought and it's very, very narrow, which is great. And also the ports are actually at the top, which is really nice so that if I needed to, I could plug in something like, let's say um, the electricity went out or something and I need to plug something in. I could definitely do that um, in this scenario versus the other scenario. Um, I had the actual machine at the very bottom or the UPS at the very bottom and then the plug was on the side and it was just hard to get to. And so here um, you can see that it's face up and then my Synology is just going to plug right in at the very top, which is um, awesome. All right, this thing, this thing said to basically charge it for eight hours before using it. I'm just gonna go ahead and use it because we need internet and I need the Synology to start. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it and turn it on and see what happens. And it's really nice and clean in here so you guys can see. I open up the door, like it fits right in. Uh, this is a, I think 14 inch by, I think it's 14 inch, 14 inch space. Um, and this is only like three and a half inches. So let me, actually, let me look at the diameters for you guys real quick. It looks like the dimensions right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, it looks like it's 12.76 by 5.4 by 2.76. That's what it says right there. So, um, it looks like everything is on and then we'll figure out if internet is on, uh, once I have my kids get on their iPads and all that stuff. So, um, hopefully this starts up. It's a little bit cleaner, um, less dusty, obviously. I'm going to go ahead and put my cookbooks at the bottom. So that'll be really exciting because then it'll open up some storage area for me on that side of the world as well. This thing also came with, it looks like a purple cord here, um, probably for a printer or something. I don't know why it would come with that. Um, maybe for a router or something. All right, everything is back on. It's super clean. I'm gonna go ahead and transfer all my cookbooks in there. So it's really exciting. Look at all this dust I have to clean off my, look at how much dust I have to clean off my dining room too. <laughs> so gross. But obviously um, this is what it looks like now. So it's super clean. Um, I can get rid of that. I could probably put that somewhere, probably in my office, just so I have battery backup for that. I just installed all this and it looks really clean to me. Um, I cleared everything out and I'm probably gonna do this uh, once a year just so that it is clean, it feels like it's less dusty. There was so much dust on this, it wasn't even, it was actually really, really gross. So I'm glad and I'm excited how this turned out um, and I'm glad that I got the cyber power too. I probably overpaid for it, but um, I have it all in place, all in one shelf, so that's really awesome. And then I still have one bay left, but I think I have like, 13 terabytes of space that I could probably use as well. Um, again, you guys, um, I am a YouTuber and blogger by night, and by day I'm a program manager um, in cloud architecture, and so uh, what's really awesome is that I've got my own little cloud, and it's a server all right here where I can store all of my family photos, um, I also store a lot of blog stuff and YouTube content, so I just need a lot of storage. I was also a family photographer as well, so I have some of those archived on uh, this network attached storage, which is amazing. Um, also, what's really cool about Synology is they uh, continue to develop applications that you can download. For instance, um, I can go on the Roku and watch my all of my family's videos on there. I know there's like a Plex service that you can use. I have not investigated uh, that route yet because I just wanted it simple, and so I can basically go on to my TV that's Roku enabled and uh, look up the application for the Synology video and also photos and be able to kind of show like, you know, during the holidays when you're watching family videos and stuff, you can kind of show those there as well. You can probably like store movies and all that stuff on here. So there you have it. That is how I have streamlined what my NAS looks like and where I store my NAS inside my house. Um, I know this is not very technical. It's more of like cosmetically, what does it look like? And also make sure that it doesn't look so gaudy. The goal with the setup was to make sure that it looked clean, it looked streamlined, and it was also like dust free. Um, that was the intention of this video. So I hope you guys got something out of it. I feel like this is an amazing um, investment um, as well. It definitely replaces this big bulky thing. I only have two things. Uh, connected to this. So right now I only have like the NAS and uh, as well as the router. The NAS is really important to have hooked up and then the router is really important too. I wouldn't necessarily like store all of the uh, iPad charging and all that stuff on here. This is mainly for more of the important stuff that I need to make sure that I have charged. This again is used for personal use and I just needed a clean area and I think I achieved that. I'm going to go ahead and put my cookbooks down here and then I should have 
this pretty streamlined. If you guys have any questions at all on the things I use along with this CyberPower um, UPC backup, which is amazing, um, go ahead and click on the bell to get notifications next time I create new videos and make sure you subscribe and like this video. Thanks guys.